Welcome to this very brief tutorial on how to use word and phrase to help you improve your uh, writing. Uh, I'm going to show you two uh, tools here that uh, Mark Davies has provided. One is uh, simply at his site wordandphrase.info uh, which is uh, for uh, using uh, for general texts and sort of general academic purposes. Uh, Mark Davies has also provided another tool uh, which you can uh, find by using slash academic at the end of the URL that's just focusing in on uh, academic text. Okay, since I want to show you how it can be used to improve your writing, I'm going to use something I'm working on right now with my colleague Alev, uh, and uh, here it is. I'm just going to highlight this, and then I'm going to uh, uh, copy it and paste it into the tool. Okay, and here uh, is the, uh, the site we're at, and there are two uh, tools here. One is just to uh, look at words uh, in the corpus according to frequency. The other is to input your own text and get it to uh, analyze your text according to the corpus information. So we click on this one here. Um, y when you do it, you'll need you'll have a login button. You have to you, you need to create an account and log it in. Log in when you use this. Uh, it's free. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. The uh, Mark Davies just wants to know who's using his his site and what they're using it for. So. I go to the input box here, right click, and I paste in my text. Well, once the text is pasted in, I can select uh, two uh, versions. Uh, one is looking for specific words, or one is to look for phrases in my text. I'm going to use the first one, which is the word one, and I simply click the search button. Uh, in the panel on the right, you'll see the analysis of the text here, and it's color coded according to the uh, frequency of words that I've used in my text. Uh, in total you can see uh, I have 476 words here. Of those about half of them come from the first 500 words of English. Another 20% uh, from the f uh, next up to the next 3,000 words of English and uh, roughly 30% or so come from uh, words beyond that range. And then you can see the uh, color coding of the text uh, in the window here. Okay, uh, and, and uh, in the word version of this interface, I can uh, look at any word I want and click it, click on it, and get more information uh, in the panels below based on the corpus uh, that Mark Davies has provided of the uh, of contemporary American English. Now, as I as I look through, I can I can see um, um, uh, words that are blue and green, which are sort of higher frequency words here. So as I glance through, I might see some, some words or, or collocations I'm not quite sure about, for example, future and generation. Maybe there's a, a, a better word or a more academic word or a uh, more interesting word I can use than future. So if I click on future here, uh, it comes up and shows me some information about this word uh, appearing down here. In fact, here I see it can appear as an adjective or as a noun, you know, as in the future is hard to see. Uh, also, it uh, links directly to WordNet and tells me uh, some information about the different uh, meanings of that word. And also, interestingly enough, here it uh, talks about uh, collocates as well. Um, and over here, you can see uh, the use of that word in different uh, genres spoken English, fiction. Uh, popular English uh, and uh, sort of academic, and we can see here that uh, future does tend to be a uh, word that appears in uh, uh, academic uh, uh, text more often than not. And down here under noun, we can see uh, it, uh, things that collocate with future, future research, future generation, future study, uh, future direction, etc. Now I've used the uh, generation, so if I indeed if I want to click on generation here. I will then see um, the, the um, uh, display of future with the word uh, generation. As I can see here, it tends to be fairly tight collocate, uh, usually uh, always occurring, as we can see here, together. A rare case, uh, the future and the more enlightened generation. Uh, but most, mostly, it looks like I'm using it in the, in the correct sense here. And over here, we can see other synonyms that are um, uh, uh, possible. Uh, and, and again, this is quite interactive, so if I click on, on coming, um, it will show me uh, the uh, context that that appears in. And here again, I can see coming tends to be more of a popular use or spoken and not so much uh, in an academic. And indeed, if I take, take a look at uh, collocations, I don't see, I see generation here, uh, but it's not a, if I click on it, it's not a, um, 
going to be an academic uh, sense that often. Um, so it looks it looks like I've, I'm I'm using the uh, the right the right collocation here. Okay, and just uh, take a look at the uh, the phrase option here. I'll click on phrase, uh, and uh, you'll see a little panel appears uh, below. Um, with boxes in it. Now when I'm taking a look at phrases I have to click and uh, choose words in order uh, that it will, I want to appear and analyze as a phrase. So again as before I see tools and techniques here again they're high frequency words I'm, I'm, I'm wondering are they um, uh, you know a tight collocation is it, a, is it a good phrase a good chunk of language and is it appropriate in an academic context. So I click on tools and techniques and down here you'll see that they appear in their boxes and when I click search it's going to take a look for that uh, particular phrase uh, coming up and I see all the examples here and again as I move my my pointer over to the side I see the distribution according to different genres and uh, I can see that uh, tools and uh, uh, techniques uh, are indeed sort of a, a common uh, academic uh, sense of the, of the phrase Okay, and finally, uh, for this section, I'll just show you how the uh, 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 the academic uh, uh, word um, filter works um, in this general text analyzer tool. Uh, as we said before, when we saw the color um, of words, uh, blue words are very frequent words, uh, green words are quite frequent, uh, yellow are sort of less frequent words as well. And as we saw in this text here, um, about uh, almost 30% of the words are uh, outside the most commonly uh, used 3,000 words in English. However, here uh, we can see that uh, the um, number of words that are academic are actually 33%. So what this is telling us is that uh, some of these words here are academic and some of these more common words are academic. And indeed, uh, the sense of academic word is, is, is not so much on uh, the word itself, but how it appears in relative in relative term, relative frequency terms in academic text opposed to uh, sort of general English text. If I click on this one here it will uh, highlight uh, the words that it thinks uh, are academic by comparing how these words are used in academic text as opposed to uh, uh, text of more general nature. Uh, again you see two shades here. The, uh, the red ones are words that are uh, from uh, the 3000 and words of English and the slightly uh, sort of brownish words are words that, are, that appear to be academic. They're common words but they appear to be academic in, in uh, uh, academic texts uh, and here we can see uh, the academic nature of our text uh, with this filter. Uh, what I'll do in the next video is show you a little bit more about the, uh, the other tool which is the uh, uh, word and phrase uh, tool for academic texts.